Look what I got today. My wife uh, is in school and she got some of her school money back. So she wanted to get this. She wanted to get the 16 gig, but I highly, highly recommended the 32 gig and talked her into getting a 32 gig since she can't expand the memory. She wanted to get the uh, Galaxy uh, Tab 2, the 7 inch 2 uh, second version, but uh, it only had 8 gigs of internal storage. And ever since Ice Cream Sandwich, you can't move apps to your SD card without like a lot of hacking. So I talked her into getting the 32 gig. Um, the refreshed version does come out later this year, uh, maybe sometimes during the middle of it, uh, which is going to have a 1080p screen along with the refreshed Nexus 10, which is going to have a quad core. So I will be getting the refreshed version for me. This is for my wife. Again, this version is for my wife. I will be getting the refreshed 1080p version later this year for myself and the quad core nexus 10 i won't be getting the dual core if you want to watch videos on the nexus 10 check out uh freaking uh droid modder x Zetamax, uh other people out there that do good videos and then there's other people that do not so good videos <laughs> oh not naming names but this is a seven inch tablet I got it for $248 at Sam's Club. I am pretty freaking excited about this. Again, this isn't even mine, but I will be doing a video on how to root it. And I'll probably do a video on installing Sonic Jamaa 10.1. Uh, Android 4.2.2 came out for it. So yeah, let's go ahead and unbox it. Um, um, got it at Best Buy. I'll put a little, uh, if you're not following me on Instagram and Twitter, please do so. I posted about this on there, and I don't know what that is. Um, whatever. I got this from Sam's Club. Uh, I'm new to Sam's Club. <laughs> uh, how they do things is weird and different. And there's so many unboxing videos on the Nexus 7, but I'm still going to do mine just because it lets people know that I have it and that I'll do videos on it. Um, it's not mine. It's my wife's. So I won't be able to, like, install just any ROM on it and, you know, spam you guys with videos. But I'll have the most essential videos, like upgrades to, like, Android 422, uh, rooting, installing custom ROMs, uh, all that good, good stuff. So let's go ahead and open it up here. This has not been opened yet. This is all brand new. Um, here it is. <laughs> Man. That is just sick. I never thought I'd end up getting one of these. Uh, I want to give a huge shout out to guys like the Android Holic. I don't ask for donations. I've never asked for donations. And I have very, very few videos where there's links to even donate. And only because people are like, hey, I want to donate. And I'm like, okay, fine. I'll put a link in there. But I so the Android Holic, he, he tried to get people to donate, like to help me get one because I... I can't afford every new device that comes out. And the only reason I'm getting this is because my wife got her school money and we filed our taxes. So, yeah. Um, that's how I'm also going to get the Transformer Book TX300. I'll be using my uh, refund to get that. Um, charging cable. But it's a uh, Windows 8 uh, 64 bit. So it's not like a mobile RT version, it's full blown Windows 8. Uh, Here's the charger. Looks pretty cool. How many amps is this bad boy? Oh, sweet. It is a two amp charger. That's pretty awesome. That means it'll charge it uh, quicker than a one amp. You can still probably charge it with a one amp, but it won't charge nearly as quick as using two amps, which the Note 2 charges with two amps. So I got plenty of two amp chargers laying around. Uh, what's in the box? Nexus 7 warranty, charging cable, Nexus 7 itself. And then that's it. But yeah, uh, I'm using my refund to get a, uh, we're looking at an Aveo or an Escape. And then I'll be using it also to get the Transformer book. Uh, I will link a couple videos in the description for those of you that are like, what the heck is a Transformer book? Um, I'm pretty freaking excited. I can't wait for that thing to come out. It's, it's full-blown Windows 8, just like you'd find on a desktop or a laptop. And um, I can run Adobe Premiere Pro on it and edit videos on the go. And I'm I'm going to be getting it, I promise you. I'm, I'm like looking every day to see if there's links to buy it 
or any new you know new news on it or anything like that so transformer book tx 300 i'll be doing unboxing and review and etc on that come on stupid cable come on and uh so check this out it looks like it's got the breakaway thing like the neck like the transformer prime has or maybe not oh it's got a little button there probably i need to cut my nails but i don't know it looks like you're able to push this button and like if uh say this gets really really hot it's got like a protection thing in there that keeps it from uh you know overheating and causing a fire and so you probably just like press that in and this pops off and then you can reset it by pushing it back on there so i have a video called uh what's do if your transformer prime doesn't charge and it's probably the same exact concept let's go ahead and my wife wanted to do this but she doesn't want to be on video so since it's hers she wanted to you know unbox it but that is just oh that is sick that is awesome next to seven the perfect tablet the best of the best of the best of the best oh man that feels good i like it a lot that is ah oh, i'm so jealous that this is not mine oh i can't wait to get the refreshed version the note 3 is actually supposed to have a freaking 6.3 inch screen and this is seven inches so yeah <laughs> my note 3 when i get it will be slightly uh smaller than this thing let's go ahead and turn it on see if there's any power yep it's turning on the first boot up <laughs> yay and like i said this got android 422 uh, i will root this thing today I will start recording that video. Um, if you've seen my video on how to root the SGS3 and the um, Note 2 and etc. Uh, and the, even the next, the Galaxy Nexus, it's the same exact toolkit. So um, it's a toolkit made by Mskip and it's super, super easy to use and follow. There's also tools called Wugfresh. Um, Jordan Mother X made a video on that and a couple other people have as well. But I'm going to be using Mskip's toolkit to do this because I used his toolkit several times before and I know him and M skips a pretty awesome dude. Why isn't the end thought didn't getting oh connecting awesome. No, I'm not signing into a Google account because when you root it, uh, when you unlock the bootloader, it completely wipes it. It just completely wipes it. So instead of setting it all up, getting it wiped and then <laughs> you know, all that fun stuff and just this is so cool so all right so it's got Android 4.2 on it right now about tablet 4.2 uh, system updates check now it should update to 422 so uh, you might have to manually do it there's videos on how to do that but I'll make my own as well so stay tuned for that gonna have videos on how to root it Gonna have videos on how to install custom recovery. Uh, gonna have videos on installing 422, uh, Sci 10.1, AOKP. Uh, this is this is a 32 gig Nexus 7, and it will be around for a while. When I say that, it'll be in the family for a while. Oh, what's this? System update available for download, restart, and install. Let's just go ahead and do that. Why why make a second video on just installing this? Um, shutting down. Let's just let's just continue on with this video and let it do it. It's installing the update. And this is freaking exciting. 422. It's going from 42 to 422. So yeah, that's this is this is dope. This is awesome. I'm uh I'm super excited. Not speed this up. Oh, looks like it's uh done installing the update, so 
I'm not going to have a review of this thing or anything like that. Uh, there's, I mean, it's a one gig of RAM. It's, uh, I wonder if the refresh version that has a 1080p will have two gigs or 1080p screen will have two gigs of RAM, but it's a one gig of RAM. It's a quad core. I, it's a 720p screen. It's, it's a smoking little tablet. Um, this is the 32 gig version, but they do have a 16 gig version. Um, and they're like 199 and this one's 249 or 248 at Sam's Club. And, uh, yeah, so Android is upgrading. Hurry up. I want to freaking edit this video and then start rooting it right away. It, the, the best thing about this, because she, like I said, she was looking at getting the uh, Galaxy Tab 7 inch, the second version. And the, the best part about this thing is it just got 422. What other device that's, you know, not supported by Sanjima 10.1? Is on that seriously let's go to settings um oh yeah to get developer options there just go to about settings and tap on your build number and it'll say you're three steps away from being developer two steps away one step away and you press it again your developer check that out android 422 so if you keep tapping on that you get a little jelly bean thing Android 4.2.2. It's trying to focus on my tripod. <laughs> One thing I'll do real quick before I end this video is I will... Oh, comes to Chrome by default. Nice. Uh, they've been doing that for a little while now, but... Oh, there's no camera app. You've got to download it from the uh, Play Store. That sucks. I would show you more, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. <laughs> it's running Android 4 due to Jelly Bean. And I will have more videos on this. Like I've said, how to root, how to install Sonic my 10.1, AOKP Jelly Bean, um, just you know, custom recovery, you know, anything super important, I will be there to cover for this device. And yes, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are excited and want to see my video on how to root it, please give this video a thumbs up as well and subscribe. And yeah, if you subscribe, you won't miss any future videos on the Nexus 7, Nexus 10, the updated quad core version that comes out later this year, the transformer book, and so many other awesome things that are going to happen that I will be here to cover. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.